Hi, good evening. Donna here with His Truth Be Told Ministries for our uh, daily reading of the Word. I am currently reading from the third year of our three-year plan. I will be um, reading from the NASB 2020. If you have any comments, questions, or verse that stands out to you, put in the comment section below. Woe to you, destroyer, while you were not destroyed, and he was treacherous, while others did not deal treacherously with him. As soon as you finish destroying, you will be destroyed. As soon as you cease to deal treacherously, others will deal treacherously with you. Lord, be gracious to us. We have waited for you, but their strength every morning, our salvation also in the time of distress. At the sound of a roar, people's flee. At the lifting up of yourself, nations disperse. Your plunder is gathered as caterpillars gathers. As the caterpillar gathers, I'm sorry. Like an infestation of locusts, people storm it. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with justice and righteousness, and he will be the stability of your times. A wealth of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Behold, there are brave men cry out in the street. The ambassadors of peace weep bitterly. The highways are desolate. The traveler has ceased. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the city. He has no regard for mankind. The land mourns and wastes away. Lebanon is shamed and withers. Darren is like a desert plain, and Bashan and Carmel lose their foliage. Now I will arise, says the Lord. Now I will be exalted. Now I will be lifted up. You have conceived calf. You will give birth to stubble. My breath will consume you like a fire. The peoples will be burdened to lime, like cut thorns which are burned in the fire. You who are far away, hear what I have done, and you who are near, acknowledge my might. Sinners in Zion are terrified. Trembling has seized the godless. Who among us can live with the consuming fire? Who among us can live with everlasting burning? One who walks righteously and speaks with integrity. One who rejects unjust gain and shakes his hands so that they hold no bribe. One who stops his ears from hearing about bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking at evil. He will dwell on the heights. His refuge will be the impregnable rock. His bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty. They will see a distant land. Your heart will meditate on terror. Where is one who counts? Where is one who weighs? Where is one who counts the towers? You will no longer see a fierce people, a people of unintelligible speech but no, which no one comprehends, of a stammering tongue which no one understands. Look at Zion, the city of our appointed peace. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, an undisturbed settlement. A tent will not a tent, tent which will not be folded, its stakes will never be pulled up, nor any of its ropes be torn apart. But there the majestic one, the Lord, will be for us, a place of rivers and wide canals, of which no boat with oars will go, and on which no mighty ship will pass. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. Your ship's tackle hangs slack. It cannot hold the base of its mast firmly, nor spread out the sail. Then the prey of an abundant oil will be divided. Those who limp will take the plunder, and no resident will say, I am sick. The people who live there will be forgiven their wrongdoing. Well, that's it for Isaiah 33. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.